Okay, here we've got round two of the uh, draft. My opponent's got a Dark Heart Conjurer in his deck, so he's got a Dijon Infusion in here somewhere. Uh, he whiffed on Plunder Imp, which is good for me. I don't really have anything that can kill it uh, and not die itself, so I'm going to play Werewood Ranger to enable that next turn. And what scale is the best in my hand? Gemmarked Ravager is okay. It's a 9, 10 to 15, 16. I really like Cavern Serpent. I think Gemmarked Ravager is a little better than Lightbringer Cleric. Uh, even though it doesn't get mobility, because it's just a lifelink creature. Uh, staying out of the center lane in case he's an Ixion for our next pilot. Oh, actually, Portal Sludge, or Portal Shade just slaughters his Plunder Imp. <laughs> That's pretty nice. So he knows my hand now. Uh, so he knows his Plunder Imp's dead. So he can pump it to prevent that. Uh, which is probably not the best use of his time, <laughs> since the only pump spell that does that is like Plunder Pack, I think. Or Pummel Pack, I mean. So we put this here. He is an Ixium. So what do I want to live? Probably the Necro Slime. So we put the Portal Shade here, the Necro Slime in the side lane, pump the Necro Slime to make it a 7 7 next turn, and attack. Everything dies except for my creatures. Then I get to play my Plunder Imps and my Shade. Probably gonna kill this Portal Shade with my own Necro Slime, honestly. Because I'm assuming he blocks it. How did he gain life? I don't remember. Oh, Dark dark Heart Witch. Dark Shard Witch. Right, I remember now. Bone Scythe Reaver. This card I'm not a huge fan of. It's good under. It's really, really small, but it kills uh, under level threats. Which is good and bad. Honestly, usually it just means they uh, die pretty quickly. I'm gonna put Plunder Imp in front of Shard Claw Zombie, then damage it. Maybe look at his hand. He doesn't have anything. So hit my Plunder Imp, because the portal shit just kills this creature. And then play Featherfang, comes a 12-8. Symbiote becomes a 10-10. I, I didn't play the Dust Maw, or the Dust Camera earlier. So I don't really feel inclined to play uh, Dark Forged. Symbiote works a little better with my... Uh, whatchamacallit spells. Uh, pump spells. I put the symbiote in this lane instead of the plunder imp. I blocked the with the plunder imp because if he has a uh, one dark forged, the symbiote doesn't kill the shade claw and it actually dies itself. Uh, if he just has one dark forged, then this plunder imp still kills the zo zombie. If he has two dark forged, neither of them kill it, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, yeah, but this way, since he has the dark forged, I still get to kill a shade claw zombie. And I'm gonna hit my symbiote to. Pump my Necro Slime. Play my own Symbiote in front of. Actually, you know, I can play a Feather Fang. It's probably a little better. Uh, is Feather Fang better than Cavern Serpent? It has four toughness. <laughs> it's just not a lot. It's really hard to play this card without the Dark Root Shamblers so I th and Torg My Menders, so I think Feather Fang's better for me. And play the Symbiote. Hit this one, attack him for nine. I'm still staying out of the center lane because I don't want him to have a Nexus Pilot, but I guess it doesn't matter that much since the Nexus Pilots would only have one health. Ooh, Metamind Operator. That does some pretty good work against my Necro Slime in that he still has to block it with another creature. <laughs> I could pump Necro Slime, but I don't see a reason to. Let's just play Necro Slime here and then play. There's no haste creatures in this com color combination, so I think we're just going to play Catacomb Spider. Uh, and give regen to my Necro Slime next turn. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to hit my other Necro Slime, and I don't want to hit my Catacomb Spider or my Symbiote, because it kills either w whichever one I hit. So it's better just to leave it as a 9-1. Force him to block it again, because he can't just take 9 over and over again. Uh, there's not a lo lot of good 1-powered blockers in this format. So he kills the spider, I imagine? No, he kills the necro slime. Okay. That's kind of strange, because my, my necro slime does live. <laughs> like, I just hit one of my own creatures and it lives. Yeah, now I can hit the catacomb spider to make it just 12 12 and give it regen too. Um. Um. 
The only question is whether I want to shrink this reaver to make my <coughs> uh, necroslime more survivable. I think that's my best play because my other play is like play a mediocre creature. So I think it's better to blood bindings this guy now. Uh, so my guy takes three less damage than play Werewood Ranger. Uh, that way it still has like seven toughness. Or a little over seven toughness. It has nine toughness. Which is more power than Shade Claw Zombie has if he doesn't have a Dark Forged. Uh, it would die to pretty much any level two creature anyway. But this way, uh, six power. Other, it would be at six toughness otherwise, which is killable by a, whole, a large majority of... Uh, level 1 creatures, so you can take any of these creatures from my hand. You can't take the symbiote or the Resign Strength, which are the cards I was planning on playing. And the symbiote's a free block on this infantry. Yeah, so here's what I do. I play the symbiote, pump it with my ranger, and then Resign Strength with my ranger to kill his symbiote. That way he has to block my ranger again. What did he take? I didn't even pay attention. It didn't matter for this, but... Oh, he took the Dust Hammer. Uh, yeah. I probably would have taken the Glow Hive Siren. Because he hasn't seen any Dark Reforged from me, and the Glow Hive Siren's actually pretty good for stabilizing. Though I guess, you know, Dust Hammer has 5 power, so it's a little better with Wayward Ranger. Okay. So Ferocious Horse saves my Symbiote. Assuming he kills the Ranger. Yeah, he kills the ranger. So what I want to do is play Portal Shade because it's insane here. And then battery mode enabled. Let's plug in. Then play Flipper on the end. 